Happy St. Patrick's Day to you people. <laughs> that was the most fucking fucked up Irish expression I've ever <laughs> I've ever fucking even attempted. But what's going on, guys? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, it's your boy HBK Just, and I'm back. And I'm bringing you guys some other game of some Domination of Havana. Um, this game I just got, I believe, the day before yesterday. Or Actually, no, I got it yesterday. Uh, but I wanted to, uh, you know, do it, show you guys real quick. Normally, I keep these games for a while because I have a whole lot. Uh, saved up, but I wanted to get this out there because I, I liked it. I don't know something about it that I really liked the gameplay. One, I was rushing a lot, and I'm not, you know, I'm not really the pro rusher. Um, I'm normally play defensive a little bit, but I rushed around a little bit. I was using pretty low kill streaks, uh, just UAV, Napalm, and Blackbird, and um, I don't know. It was a pretty fun gameplay, mostly gun kill. So I thought you guys would enjoy it. Um, what I want to talk to you guys about, what the topic of the day is, basically, uh, I had to sit here and think a little bit because I didn't know if I wanted to open up this much to you guys but what i wanted to talk about is basically um if you're in a situation like how what you know what boundaries do you have when it comes to a friend um you know some friends that some people would say oh i'll kill for i'll die for i'll do anything for what have you um but then some friends you have is like okay i would do i wouldn't do i would do this but i wouldn't do you know so much um would you fight for your friend if your friend was getting the hell beat out of him, like say if he was getting jumped, will you jump in, knowing knowing right away, right off the bat that you, if you did jump in, you'll get the living shit beat out of you? Would you do that for a friend? Um, like what boundaries do you have when it comes to that friend? So this is one of the questions that I definitely want to ask you guys, and hopefully we can discuss it in the comment section. Um, I remember it was a time where, um, it was just a lot of things going on where I lived at and. Um, a couple of friends of mine was just, you know, having beef with each other or whatever. Um, a one specific situation that comes to mind is I remember in my first apartment, um, it was me and a couple of boys of mine. That's just I stupidly rushed in here. Um, but it was just me and a couple of boys of mine, and um, we were chilling in my first apartment. And what I used to do, we used to have a lot of game night. I'm sorry if you hear um, the amp lamps and stuff like that and people outside. It's really nice today. I live in New York City. It's loud. It is what it is, <laughs> but I apologize for that. But hopefully, you guys that don't bother you guys too much. But anyway, um, what I like to do in my house a lot, well, what I used to do, not anymore. But what I used to do in my house a lot is just have game night. I used to play, you know, we used to play board games, play spades a lot, and you know, card games and things of that nature. Um, I'm extremely good at spades. So, but what my boys used to do is play for money, um, quite stupidly. But that's one of the things I didn't like doing because a lot of times when you play for money, um, people get their feelings hurt. Um, people, you know, don't like it. It's, a lot of bad things can come from uh, when you do things for money. <sighs> so, with that said, um, it was a, spe a specific situation where um, I was on a team with my friend and two other friends on the other team, and we beat them. And uh, the, I think something happened where the, the guy on the other team that lost didn't want to pay, you know, my friend. He didn't have to pay me because I, I, I wasn't playing for money. But he didn't want to pay my friend, my partner. And uh, he was like, oh, why the fuck you don't want to pay me? You know, it's fair or square. A bet is a bet. You know, no, no ass bet. And that's what they used to call it, no ass bet. God damn fucking ice cream trucks. Can't you see? I'm trying to do a freaking commentary. But I'm going out. That's what I'm saying. It's really nice to you. I'm about to go out. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys. So I just figured I'd just comment to you and knock it out. Um, so anyway, so the guy, my friend was saying, oh, no ass betting or what have you. Um, basically, it's just, you know, no reneging on your bet. If a bet is a bet, this is basically set in stone. So if you if you did, you know, do something like that, it's like, you know, what the fuck? You're, you're a punk. You're a bitch. You know, anybody that does that is basically a bitch. You know what I mean? Um. So what happened is that they really got into it, and um, long story short, they basically, um, you know, end up started fighting. Not in my house, but they stuck, you know, they took it outside literally, and they just started fighting each other. And uh, it was a one-on-one -on -one fight. And me and my other, it was them two fighting, and me and my other friend was outside, make sure that, you know, they don't really hurt themselves. But they was literally trying to beat the living shit out of each other. And um, I remember it was raining. It was around one, two o'clock in the morning. It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy, but these guys that was outside literally, you know, beating the shit out of each other, these big two big dudes or whatever. Um, so when it you know, after a while they broke it up or whatever. Well we me and my other friend we broke it up. 
And um, he was like, listen, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to fuck you up the next time I see you. Um, the guy that didn't want to pay the money, he was saying, listen, I'm going to fuck you up the next time I see you. You better not come over to my, you know, around where I live at no more. And if you come, I'm beating the shit out of you. And I'm beating the shit out of your sister. I don't give a fuck. I hit girls, too. It was crazy. <laughs> it was really crazy. You know what I mean? And um, I was in a position where... You know, I could have done a lot. I could have really, you know, spoke to them and said, listen, this is not the way to go about things, you know. But I guess the question is, like, what do you, excuse me, what do you do in that situation? Do you step in and try to, you know, be the mediator? Or do you try to step away and let them do what they got to do and leave it alone? Because at the end of the day, you know, these are two grown men, you know, and, you know, maybe you should mind your business, right? Um, but let's say if you're in a situation, what happened the next day or a couple of, I think a week or so later, my friend got jumped and, um, he ended up getting, you know, got jumped by a couple of guys and he ended up getting help you out of him. I wasn't there, but another friend of mine was there, but he didn't jump in. Um, is, what is that guy a friend? Now, if he would have jumped in, you know, who knows what would have happened? He would have got the help beat out of him too. Um, who knows, you know. Anything could have happened. So my question today is, I guess you could say, is, you know, what would you do? Like, if you're a true friend, would you put yourself on a line? Essentially, maybe even put your life on the line. Because anything can happen when you're in a fight. You could get hit real hard in your head. Somebody could hit you over the head with something. You could get a fucking concussion. You could even die. Who knows? Anything can happen in a fight. You know, that's why it's a fight. Anything can happen. So, you know, it's not just sometimes, oh, you punch me, I punch you, or we walk away fine. Sometimes it doesn't work that way. Sometimes some, you could get seriously, seriously hurt. So if that's your friend, um, would you put yourself on a line and put yourself out there and risk your life, essentially? Or would you try to stand back and say, okay, it's none of my business? Because, you know, in a way, I guess, you know, is there any right answer to this? Because... I don't know, this plagued my mind a lot. I was always the type of person that if something happens to my friend, I'm going to jump in regardless. And it's been situations, I just dropped my phone. It's been situations where I have jumped in and, you know, I didn't let something like that happen. If something's going on with my friend, I'm not going to just stand by and idly watch. I will jump in, I'll make sure that my friend is okay, and, you know, I'll just do what I got to do. Now, it's been situations like that where it's, you know, you you really got to put yourself on the line in that situation, and it's it's just really crazy. So I don't know. It's it's really a it's it's not a cookie cutter question. It's really difficult to answer, um, and there's really no right answer to this. You're not a punk if you decide not to jump in. You you're not a punk if you know you're not a hero if you do decide to jump in, because you know it's it like I said before. Anything can happen in that situation. Anything can happen. You could risk your life. You. But you know, my friend didn't jump in, and he really caught a lot of grief about that. Like, a lot of people around my neighborhood, they really thought of him differently because they were saying, if you're a true friend, you should help out. You know, but this this guy, you know, he has a family. He has his whole life to live. He was going to go away to college. He had a lot of things to live for. And why should you jump in because of that? You know, a lot of things can happen because of that. So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a really odd situation. It's it's really crazy. So, what is that? What I would definitely ask is, what do you guys, you know, what are your viewpoints on that? What is your opinion? Should, would you jump in? Would you not jump in? Would you help your friend? And if you if you're in a situation where you've seen something like that happening, <clears throat> what would you think of that person? Anyway, it's getting close to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like. It really helps my channel grow. Um, definitely follow me on Twitter a lot. You guys shoot me a lot of messages. The best way to hit me up is on Twitter. Um, the link will be in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I believe I went 44 and 6, something like that. I don't know. I really like the gameplay. So, hope you guys enjoyed and have a good day. Talk to you later.